is after the trade deadline, you said we're sticking to the blueprint, and a, a lot of people are asking, what is the blueprint now? If you could just describe it to us. Well, first off, the uh, the blueprint is we th we think we've put some key assets in place already with this hockey club. <coughs> and at the trade deadline, all the deals we were presented was were centered on where we had to wait. So we, we turned down four first-round picks for players on the team, turned down trade offers on, uh, I think, a total of 12 players. And every trade we were presented meant that we had to wait and our fans had to wait. So you get a first-round pick for a guy, what, what is that? That's three years for most of them. So it's three years we wait. And I said no. I said we're, we're gonna, we think we've, we've got a good young group. We have the youngest or second youngest team in the NHL. We've got good team speed. Uh, we think we've put some key blocks in place as far as what we need to do. The blueprint is to win a championship. And there will be people who say you need to have your head exam when you're talking about having a parade with a team that's fighting to get in the playoffs. But that's the blueprint. That's the goal. That's all I'm interested in. So we kept the assets. With the change, there's two possibilities or two, two key reasons for making a coaching change when we did. One is that we think this coach gives us a chance to salvage the season where we felt the way it was going with Ron, it wasn't going to happen. But also, this saves us a month in the fall of a new coach coming in and putting in his systems and getting to know the players. And if we're going to miss, we're going to miss with a coach that gives us a better chance next fall. So um, we, we have control over the playoff spot with the schedule we have and the teams we play if we win our games. We, it's still a realistic, uh, difficult road with the opponents we have, but it's still a realistic thing. I felt that with Ron, where Ron was with our team, that we had to make the change. But the second part is, and, and shouldn't be overlooked, is this saves us a month in the fall. I don't want to have a new coach the first day of training camp. What does this say to the future of Dallas Well, I talked to Dallas this morning at length. Um, there's not, I mean, everyone on our staff, everyone in hockey operations thinks that Dallas Eakins is a hell of a coach. He is. He's, he's done a marvelous job. But you look at the size of this group. He's never coached a playoff game in the American Hockey League. He's, we just felt that this was putting him in a tank uh, full of piranhas and sharks and he, he would have no chance. His day will come. It may not be with us, but his day will come. Dallas Eakins is going to be a real good NHL head coach. I went through the same thing with Kevin Deneen. You know, I hired Kevin Deneen. He'd never been a head coach before. And you look, he's doing a pretty good job. And... You know, I think I'm good at identifying coaching talent and good at supporting coaching talent. That team's in first place by 10 points, I think, today, or 8 points. And we burned two recalls to make sure that Dallas has a chance to take a run. You know, we, we sent to protect Jake Gardner and Matt Fratton for the clear day roster in the AHL. We sent them down and called them back. We're down to two recalls now out of four. You're only allowed four recalls after the deadline, which is, by the way, is a ridiculous rule, but that's time for another rant. Um, another day but um you know we want dallas to have success there we want our players to experience ahl playoff success we think that augurs well for them in the future that that experience is vital in terms of developing players i i've told people this before the miracle in anaheim wasn't just that we won a cup we played in 14 playoff rounds in three years between the two teams the big club played in eight and the, and the american league team the portland pirates played in six and these were vital stepping stones for that franchise developing players. So Dallas is a, is a great coach. He was disappointed, um, but he, he understands. <coughs> no, it's, it's not pleasant. I, I, I've, the last couple of days have been brutal. Um, you know, I go back with Ronnie to 1973. That's where we were freshmen together. And... Played four years. It's not like playing four years pro. Four years of college is, you know, September to June. And it's uh, it's class together and lunch together. And it just, it's just a, a more close-knit experience than playing pro with a guy. And, you know, when you're playing pro, like when I, the year I played in the American League, we, you know, I, my roommate and I hung together. We were pretty tight. But other than that, you're, you're kind of, it's not the same. It's not the same as being in college with a guy and playing college hockey with a guy. So uh, the last couple of days have been, very difficult. So it's not, uh, I, I have to do what's right for the team, and I'm confident that we're doing the right thing. I'm really, despite my demeanor, 
I'm I'm really happy about today. I'm really excited about today. I'm really pleased that Randy's the coach. But no, it's not uh, it's not good. Yes, yeah. He I I think when I sent him an email and said I need to see it tonight at eight o'clock. I think you had a when you're a coach, you don't need a a roadmap after that call. It's like when you're a player and they you know you're at the end of training camp and they say the GM wants to see you. It's, it's not good news. You're not going to get good news. Uh, I always let the head coach bring in an assistant coach of his choosing. Uh, I have no input on that. As long as the guy's not a convicted felon, he's the coach. And uh, uh, Randy wants to bring in Dave Farish. Uh, we're going to get that process underway today. He handled the defenseman in Anaheim, and that required that Rob Zettler be reassigned. Uh, the, probably the most unfair thing about the last you know, 12 hours or so has been that Rob Zettler has been reassigned because he, he did a good job. He, there's no equity or fairness in him being reassigned. But this is how I do things. And the head coach gets to bring one assistant coach, and I, uh, there's no debate. He wants Dave Farish. I think Dave Farish is a, is a hell of a coach. I had him. I work with him. He's a real good guy. He knows what he's doing. He's had success. And so he's coming. <clears throat> and that means that, sorry? <clears throat> no. No.